Hey everyone, it's Danielle Tiara. Thanks for tuning in to Statue of Society. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for instant updates on your favorite celebrity news. Also, be sure to click that notification bell as well so you get notified when an upload has been posted. So a woman by the name of Amber, who is a castmate featured on Jocelyn's Cabaret, which is a reality show on the Zeus Network. Now she is speaking out against Jocelyn and her boyfriend, Ballistic. Now they were involved in a physical altercation during the reunion show, and Amber is sharing in detail what all went down. And Jocelyn kicked me in my stomach. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this back while you thinking you just did something. So when I saw the opportunity, I said she fell. And when Ballistic saw her hit the floor, he attacked me like a man. He rushed me. And she's so bogus. He bogus as hell. You a whole fucking man. You gonna put your hands on me? Gee, I'm, I'm like in a state of shock, y'all. Like, it ain't nothing that man can say to justify why he rushed me like that last night. I get I knocked your bitch out, but your bitch is steady rushing me, steady attacking, just kicked the shit out of me. When Jocelyn kicked me, ballistic like, yeah, Amber, you gonna keep running up and she gonna keep doing it to you. She gonna drop kick your ass again. He was, he was, he was airing it on, geeking it up when she kicked me. But as soon as I deck now you wanna rush me? What the you think this is? This ain't Jocelyn's world. This ain't Jocelyn's life. Jocelyn will get her just like anybody else. Every time we told Jocelyn 101 head up, she kept jumping up like she was about to, but Raven and Kadiman kept running up. She ain't finna do nothing. Sit your ass down. While on Instagram Live, Amber revealed to one of her followers that she had to end up going to the ER. Oh my God. Was yes, I'm in the hospital because Jocelyn kicked me and ballistic attacked me, but I only came to the hospital because my ribs are, my ribs are very bruised because Jocelyn had some big boots on and she kicked me. My ribs look like this. So I have to make sure that my ribs aren't broken or bruised. Other than that, I'm good. Ballistic just ripped my hair off my head. He ripped my real hair out. Like, we gonna handle this in court. It's all good. Oh yeah, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. No questions asked. I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue and I'm going to get an order of protection on him. I'm doing everything. Like Another castmate from the show spoke out. Her name is Gaia and she shared her experience on the show overall as well as Jocelyn's behavior throughout her experience. Why don't you, why don't you get in the MMA gym with me? Without your man by your side and without your little four little minions by your side. You scary ass. You're not tough. You coked out crazy. You're not tough at all. If you was really tough, you meet me in my spot. Bitch, meet me at my stage. Amber did not deserve that. When you take this position, it's to be a light worker to help the collective. You're supposed to make art to help the collective, to inspire the collective. When you've been blessed with this authority position, you do not take advantage of it, bro. You don't you don't treat the cast and crew like that. You don't you don't disrespect the cast and crew, the people who are working for you and making your it work, bro. You don't disrespect people. Amber was beating Jocelyn's ass, so Ballistic literally pulled her hair and pulled out a big chunk of her scalp. Jocelyn looked like she was cracked out. It was so traumatizing. Something told me they kept trying to get me to go back down there. I left. Their Zeus network is sketchy. I literally left like they, they the fights kept breaking out literally as soon as we started filming bro and i was like no nah. this is not a place to have an intelligent conversation this is not a place for intelligent women have it so so jocelyn finally spoke out on her twitter account it seems that her instagram is down at the moment so she decided to go on a whole twitter rant so she kicked things off by considering herself mortal comeback she stated i mortal comeback one girl PIMP backhand another one, push one into last night's episode, kick down a few on the ground, I backhand fire out everyone on that stage, me and my crew, wait for it. Keep crying from the hospital bed with your broken ribs, one kick you flew into the next day, rotten mouth girl. And for you dumb girls, when you sign up for a rally show, you cannot file a lawsuit against anyone on the show, you dummies. 
Y'all girls stay off me and go get you some money. My all you girls forever, my girls. You work for me until you die. Hashtag Jocelyn Cabaret's Las Vegas. I ain't gonna never stop. Your guts went to your butt after that. Number four trending in the United States. I have too much money to have time for you girls that don't make me no money. So if you don't want to work for me, please kindly mind your broke down business and go get a job. Dog face, mad jealous, envious, drunk girls. Jocelyn also typed out a cap emoji claiming that the allegations are full of lies. So Tommy, who is a member of the show Love & Hip Hop, actually was on there with Jocelyn Hernandez. Now, things got intimate between the two, but soon after, things turned so far left that Jocelyn actually had Tommy put in jail. So now that all this is taking place all over social media about Jocelyn Hernandez's reunion show, Tommy felt the need to reflect and speak out. Tommy stated on her Instagram story, the same grown woman who's bragging about putting hands on women is the same one who called the police and got a restraining order on me. I had to pay $50,000 to get out of jail all because when it comes to me, everybody so mature and above the BS, they turn into victims. All of a sudden, shaking my head. Y'all funny. I want my court fees and bond money back. Tommy Lee does not condone bullying, harassment of any kind. So Jocelyn's show is on the Zeus Network, which also produce other highly unruly shows, very degrading shows, and condone a lot of toxic violence. So it's very interesting that they shared this message. While our programming remains authentic, loud, provocative, raw, unscripted, and uncensored, under no circumstances do we condone bullying or provoke violence in men attacking women. Currently, we are conducting a thorough review of the events that took place during Justin's Cabaret reunion taping. The safety of our talent, crew, guests, and fans is a top priority. So now it's time to chime in and let me know how you feel about this. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future news.